Hello everybody and welcome back to some Mega Modded Gungeon. I am finally back from my holiday and never knew this with us whispering in the background. <laughs> and as you can see, we have Halloweenified the Gungeon Breach. Honestly, Dallin did a great job with this. With such a screech, you'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombie shrieks. Yes, it, this is just a great job. Dallin made this, uh, obviously he made the Breach no, no, no. renovations recently, and he went into the effort of making a Halloween themed, which I, I hope he realises obligates him to make one for every season now. Um, yeah, I but... can't wait till he does the one for Bastille Day. <laughs> but anyways, this this one looks just fantastic. I love all the little skulls here. Um, yeah, he's, he's really done a good job of it. But anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll jump oh, yeah, right Dallin, in and we'll, uh... Dallin routinely excels. He do, he do. Is that new? Is that always like that? Nah, it's always been there. I okay. know, I did the sprite for it. That's the uh, the sprite that the arcade machine has if you haven't uh, unlocked the rat yet. Ah, uh, okay. That's cool. But, uh, D uh not Dallin, uh, Apache just threw an extra one in there for stylistic cohesion. Yeah. I'm tired as fuck. I was uh, t telling Turtle about this earlier, but yeah, it's it's 8 a.m. and I haven't slept, so... Yeah, it's not like well, he woke bit, up early for this. He tired. stayed up late, and it's now the next day. Yeah, I'm a bit tired, but, you know... I, 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 I messaged handle. him saying, I'm going to record Gungeon, basically offering him the chance to record with me, but expecting him to say no, and of course he still says yes. Oh, you're using uh, Dallin's reskins as well. I am. The Ring of Fire Resistance, the increased max HP by one, and the minor bullets. Destruction so, of cubes. Yeah, any cubic enemy you insta-kill. It, it's pretty bad, but it lets you destroy, like, lead cubes and stuff on later floors. Yeah, I'm guessing cubulons die in one as well. Yes, cubulons and sliding cubes. Nice. The yeah, cubulons are pretty common, so that's pretty useful. Yeah, it's a D tier, but it's still acceptable as an item yeah oh also obviously um this will make the run easier but never named updated his mod recently which is something that doesn't happen often so do you want me to spawn in at least one or two of your items or guns oh there's a there's a few that would be interesting uh Throw them at the, me. The, where's the fucking where's the fucking change log where are you come here bitch uh do 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 so, if you want to do, like, a showcase where you swap out the thing every couple of rooms, like, it, let's be honest, it's not going to significantly impact the run, because we all know you've been having a skill issue lately. Oh. You need all the help you can get. Yeah, my Isaac videos recently, oh lord, they've been some hot trash in terms of my gameplay. Oh lord. You can start off with the, uh, Poco Loco. Poco Loco. P-O-C-O. Uh, underscore logo. Oh shit, yeah. Um... Poca Loco. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's just I combined a bunch of weird little beam effects into a really just crazy little beam gun. <laughs> I like it. That's pretty cool. It's just this little zany little dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the name Ooh. means little crazy. So, and I felt that was appropriate. Yeah. I like that a lot. It, it's completely glitchy and jank, but I, that adds to the charm. I yeah, think. definitely. And it, as well, it's like, it's not, it's not always jank, it's just sometimes jank. Yeah, you know, it sometimes just has a breakdown like anyone else. Like, you know? when it like actually we, gets sort like of homed in on an enemy, it kind of looks normal. But then sometimes it kind of leaks out the back of an enemy and it does some weird stuff. It's what you get when you combine homing, piercing, bouncing, and splitting. Oh gosh, yeah. It I like the way that where it splits effects. is like a gap as well. <laughs> uh, some things are part of the charm. Part of the charm. Part of the charm in that it looks unfinished. Now what the fuck is this thing? Chamber, Chamber of, of Frogs. Frogs. Isn't that one of the Discord servers for, um... Yeah. yeah. A bunch of modders put together a Discord server with that name. I wasn't in it. I wasn't invited. I wasn't one of the cool kids. Aww. But, uh... Both have a chance to shoot out tongues that, um... 
Snatches. Oh, right. Yeah, I Snatches remember this. Snatches enemies a strange shape. Ooh, interesting. So it's like, uh, I think it's the, the tongue from the Evolver form. I, d I don't think it would work on a beam weapon. Probably not. But we'll find out uh, when we get our next weapon. If you want to cycle it out, uh, I've got a uh, couple passives you might be interested in. Let's do it. Drop that bitch. Let's go. Uh, pepper Poppers. Pepper Poppers. Oh, this is th this thing. This is a very, very cool item. He showed me this one. Um, yeah, he showed me this one uh, like as it went through development. And it is very cool. It is basically yeah, the I'll bullet just... modifier equivalent of... Um, oh, yeah, that's the tongue. The bullet modifier equivalent of um, the Gungeon Pepper. It's really cool. But we'll, uh, yeah. You see, look. Here, look. We've got little peppers here. And things that get close to these, they're going to take damage over time, as you can see, like this. But he's gone to the extra effort of doing a few cool things. So if we wait for this room to be over, um, we'll just kill out some of those guys. The peppers will actually eventually keel over it's and die, right? Yeah, it's after 20 seconds or when you leave the room. So if these ones should be dying any second now. Let's wait and see. Uh, has it been 20 seconds? But yeah, basically I wanted to try and prevent, like, potential lag. There you go. I felt, but I felt like the uh, the best way to do that was just to kill them. <laughs> yeah, it's just such a cute little animation and it's like, it's, it's all that sort of stuff I appreciate so much. I think it adds so much extra style to items and it makes it feel so much better. Ring of Wealth. No idea, what, sure that, what, no yeah, idea what that is. It's got a healing symbol on it and I'm pretty sure it's also, got an, an illegal healing symbol on it. Two sacks of pickups. And two sacks of pickups, yeah. But yeah, the tongue seems to be doing an, uh, an okay job. It seems a little dangerous. Yeah, it looks, like it's... It looks like it stuns uh, and pulls in enemies. It's kind of like having a mistake bullet. <laughs> kind of, but good. <laughs> it's definitely going to be a bit dangerous, but I like it. Oh my god! Pepper and Poppers yeah, is also, triggering a lot. Pepper Poppers is kind of insane. <laughs> what yeah, tier it's, is it's it? A item. Uh, it's it's B tier currently. Okay. It's like, you, it, it has its limitations. It's strong, but it has its limitations, and I feel it fits comfortably into B tier. Yeah, this this is this is illegal. You can't have green crosses on things. It's against the Geneva Convention. No, that's the that's the Red Cross. Is it, is it the Red Cross, isn't it? I know. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's the Red Cross. <laughs> I, um, but, I remember because uh, I think it was Blazy came to me and told me that um, in that. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies Isaac game, I rule. There was a gre there was a red cross in that on one of the items. People were like, no, 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 no. You can't do that. Yeah, fun fact. Uh, in Gungeon, the med kit doesn't have a red cross on it. It has, it has a red cross hair. Ah. So they got, they, ever... they got around it with a gun reference. Yeah, if you ever paid attention to the sprite, it's not a red cross, it's a red cross hair. <laughs> and I, I think like that's that. but yeah, pretty funny. That's something that, that, that it might be a little surprising to some people. Um, if you if you include a Red Cross in your game, like on a health pack, it is literally an, against the Geneva Convention. You can get in serious trouble for it. Oh, I know why uh, Pepper Poppers is triggering so much. It's because you're also spawning beams with your bullets, and that can also prop Pepper Poppers. Oh. Okay. So yeah, like when I'm when I'm just firing bullets, it's not doing much. When it fires a beam, it's going crazy. Yeah. Well, it seems to be doing a very good job of killing this guy. Yeah, it, it it's like uh, three point. It's it's three or three point five DPS per pepper. So when you get a stack like this, it kind of goes crazy. Oh look yeah. at them all, mass suicide. It's not suicide if you just die. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> That's what they say. But anyways, yeah, um, it is good to be back in the UK and speaking to my old pal never named here. Um, oh, it's going to make me cry. You're going to make me blush. But I'd rather still be in Greece because it was amazing. Uh, <laughs> it was just just an absolutely fabulous holiday. Want to uh, cycle out the item? Yeah. Uh, Hapulon. H-A-P-U-L-O-N. You might have to do that again. Give H A P 
Yep. U L O N. Accu oh yes, it's this little fella. So just just to give uh, Nevin in props, this animation of it jumping is pretty special. It's not it's not easy to do that, and it's pretty unique. Um, it, he had to go through a good amount of effort to to make it do that. And it's, for one, just incredibly cute. I have a feeling that this is the sort of enemy who who's kind of like um, Baby Good Mimic and things like that, where if they were in the base game, or Baby Shellet and things like that, where if it was in the base game, people would fall in love with it and make art of it and all that sort of stuff, because it's just really cutesy. But also, on top of that, it's very strong. Yeah, it's an A-tier uh, companion. Like, you, it's pretty unassuming. Like, he doesn't look like it. it'd be all that crazy. Kind of, He's kind of slow. I need to give him a teleport function. Oh, does he not teleport? But, uh, <laughs> I, I forgot. <laughs> he, he moves. He moves quicker when you're not in combat. But uh, he still doesn't teleport to catch up to you. And I need to, <laughs> that's kind of fix correct. that. I don't know. That's kind of cute still... that he doesn't. <laughs> but now I'm ashamed. You need to take him with you like he's a like he's a child. It'd be so funny if he Escort just doesn't come mission. to the next floor with you. Escort mission. <laughs> I don't want to be an escort for this thing. But yeah, if you look, he uh, he hops. But let, let's 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 just not attack things for a second. I'm just, I'm gonna make sure I don't die. But as you can see, he cre he leaves a, a charming creep. Um, and uh, he charms nearby enemies when he lands. That's what the uh, little heart poof is. But he he does a very 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 good job of charming things. So um, oh, these two these two are doing a little dance. You see that? <laughs> yeah, uh, charmed enemies can't actually deal contact damage to other charmed enemies. You I need didn't to know that. You need to specially set them to be able to do that. I did not know that. It's quite interesting. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, the reason for that is because enemies don't have iframes. Ah. Uh, so the, so any the, contact damage would just insta-kill another enemy. Basically, you take contact damage every frame that you are touching something that deals contact damage. So if you don't have any iframes, you would just take damage and die instantly, yes. yeah. Because you have iframes in Gungeon, you, uh, you, that doesn't happen to you, because it tries to deal more contact damage, but you're invulnerable. Yeah. I love him so much. He's very cute. Um, but of course enemies don't have iframes, so enemies that deal contact damage to other enemies will will be very, not, very strong. Not necessarily insta-kill, but kill very quickly. Because they will deal whatever damage they deal per fray. I unlock the fray amulet. Also, I keep falling in pits. Skill issue. Very much skill issue. <laughs> if no key. the guy ever gets... If the guy ever gets too far behind, you can always drop the item and pick it back up. Yeah. I kind of think, think it's he's cute like that he's a slow fella. Miles away. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix that next update. It's something that hadn't actually occurred to me. <laughs> it's I, always I, easy to forget those little things, though, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, do you want to just yeah, I will. You know, throw him in a pit and uh, move on? There we go. There, you know, give him one last hurrah. I'm going to give him this last room, yeah. He's going he's gonna to clear this entire room on his own. Go, my little fella. P companion who deals zero damage. <laughs> it's just, it's so cute and everything he does is so effortless. It's just, I don't know, it's its, it's pretty. Yes, I had to code the uh, hop movement behavior from scratch because there wasn't anything in the base game that would allow an entity to move in those like sporadic bursts. So does that mean you can now make enemies hop too? If I wanted to, I could apply the same principle, yeah. I like that. My tongues are doing strange things. 
And it also means I can try and make some other companions with that same style of movement. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be useful. I, I like have keys game. What's the next one? Made a rework. Oh, the arc weapons. Yeah, we'll, we'll do arc, yeah. Shotgun, uh, pistol, rifle, tactical, and cannon. Oh, wait. Uh, the shotgun's my favourite, so I'm going to show the shotgun. But yeah, uh, Nevenim basically has polished the arc weapons. These weapons are my favourite, and you guys have seen them a few times before. But they were pretty janky and not really up to Nevenim's code of um, how good they should have been. There was a few bugs, and also some of the animations were a little janky, slash didn't work as intended. So he's done a lot of fixes like that. He's also implemented uh, a pretty cool synergy as well. As you can see, they seem yeah. to be doing a much better job at like chaining the lightning between enemies. There's two synergy chests on this wall. What the hell? Hmm. I better get two better? keys. And and they're not they're not uh, fused either, which they should be. Hmm. So I I I call shenanigans. Something's going yeah. on. That is, that is weird, that's supposed to be fused. Yeah, you're right. There is an item in Prismatism that... Uh, or it, it's either... No, it's not Prismatism, it's Oddments. There's an item in Oddments that makes... That gives you more synergy chests. But I'm not sure why it would be... I don't know, that's my best guess, because it's the only thing I know of that has an effect even remotely similar to this. That was a not... terrible pull on my first synergy chest. And the next one was no synergy either, so that was pretty stupidly terrible. But we did get an active. Upon first use, a visible marker appears at the player's location. The second use will teleport the player to the marker, restoring any health lost before. Oh, this is just, um... Glowing hourglass, right? I, th I think? Maybe? By the sounds of it. So, I, I, I think... Know. I didn't make it. Why are you asking me? You're a Gungeon boy, you might know, you might have insider info. I don't know if, yeah. I, if I had insider info, I couldn't tell you because then I'd be uh, arrested. Last room. Is that last room? Yeah. Okay, so, so let's let's try it out. Let's try it out. So if I do I fixed... this, places that there. And you use it again. And then once it's ready, I'll use it again and see if it teleports me out and starts the fight. Oh, you still have to recharge it as well as it having a cooldown. Nope, that did nothing. Looks like you need to you might need to use it in the same way. Potentially, so I can yeah. imagine because uh, you can't like turn you can't turn back time on uh, Gungeon the same way you can in like Isaac. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm not understanding this no, now. No, try, try using it while it's cooling down. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that was my next guess. And then any health lost within that time. It's, it, it, it seems like it could be kind of niche and hard to use, but it's at least a teleport, which is pretty useful. Yeah, it could be very powerful. I, uh... Little man. Little man. What the hell is this thing? Little man. Changes enemy health. Hmm. So my enemies weaker. Not Weird. quite sure what that means. Oh, what the hell? The amethyst. Uh, I think that's a, a Sparpy thing. Because Sparpy has Sparpy's mod. Uh... Greatly intrudes damage of charm furs. No, my little fella. <laughs> my Sparpy my sweet boy. Has a bunch of uh, has a bunch of gems that you need to, like, get all of them on one run to get an unlock or something, but I don't remember because it's cryptic. It's confusing. Also, uh, I sort of set in motion a fix for, uh, custom masteries overriding each other. Rifle, tactical, cannon, and pistol. The arc rifle is basically just a sniper rifle, but with arc lasers. I like it. What would you say? So before? I was oh, sorry. Uh, Sparpy's mod has a bunch of unlocks with 
the different gems, you need to get them all in one run, I think, for something special mm. to happen. Okay. But the uh What was that noise? What was that noise? What was what was that noise? I don't know. What was that noise? I heard like a a noise through your mic. What was that what was that noise? <laughs> What'd you do? I just got really close to the mic and like went boop. Yeah. What the fuck's wrong? Uh, so some enemies are weak and some enemies are literally physically small. Oh, it, it looks like it may be like a random health debuff instead of uh, Gundrometer Strain's like consistent health debuff. I like it. There are just the various sizes. I like it. Oh, yeah, I, oh look um, at it. That's so cute. I made the, uh, the arc weapons used to have a bug where they would travel in a straight line after they pass through an enemy. And I, I fixed that. And I've also made them able to uh, arc to other enemies from further away. Nice. I did. I did just notice then as well. It arced back in on itself. You see that? Yeah, that can happen. That can happen when it doesn't actually hit the enemy it's trying to hit. Ah, okay. Which it's an it's a little bug. I don't. I don't. Think that's, I, don't I wouldn't call that a bug. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's it's a little bug, but I'm not too fussed about it. Yeah, I, I'd I'd say that's fine to to label as a feature instead. Yes. My negligence is a feature. <laughs> My brain isn't broken; it's just a feature. You want to show the arc cannon? I do. All lightning. Let's Which is do a pun it. that is kind of obscure, and I actually forgot what it meant when I was updating the arc. Oh, oh. That's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, the arc cannon is a big exploding laser laser lightning bolt. I like that. So it like hits and then spreads uh, arc lightning to other enemies, sort of thing. Yeah. I like it. What does this do again? I have no idea. It gave me some money and it drops a weapon in the pit. Congratulations, game. That was... <laughs> that was useful. Uh, isn't that a fine how do you do? So it is actually an explosive weapon. It's kind of on... I think it's on par with the RPG in terms of, like, damage. But then you also get some extra, like, long-distance yeah. splash damage from it, too. Yeah. But I like that, it. Uh, the cannon is actually a good lead-in to the dark weapon. Oh yeah, do you wanna, do you wanna uh, swap over to the dark, what, what was the other tactical? Yeah. It's worth keeping the uh, cannon for this as well, I should say. Just give yourself the arc tactical. And then and the riddle of lead. D uh, dark marker also works. Okay, so now our weapons change visually, as you can see, into this red, and they are the dark weapons instead of the arc weapons. And as you can see, they have a new and improved sort of dark light lightning effect that looks very, very nice. They also, um, they gain stat a couple stat buffs. They, uh, they fake. Oh, this is, a uh, this is Dulcim's. One of Dulcim's guns. Mm hmm. Dulcim is a, is a relatively new modder. He's been, he's been doing his best. He, he has a habit of getting way too ahead of himself on, uh, trying to do stuff that he's absolutely not ready for, but I think that was all <laughs> of us back in the day, so. Yeah. So, in addition to damage and fire rate bonuses, the dark weapons vaporize enemies that they kill. Ooh, I just saw that then there. Blasting cap creates spores with explosions. Nice. Also secret room. 
sad that it won't have a synergy with um, the fun cannon. But I understand why. Different mods and that. What was that? Was that? Was that? Was that? Was that? Was that? That's uh, that the waste on the shotgun, right? Veteran no, shotgun. It's from planet side. Ooh. Oh, it's that one. The one with the. Uh, Intriguing. The, the red bullets. Right, let's go and they, slap up a boss with this. They also get a slightly increased clip, and they are even better at arcing between enemies. Oh god, the, the tongues. <laughs> how is it every time we record you get a synergy that I've never even conceived of before? <laughs> oh. So... Yeah, the arc cannon gets uh, another shot in its clip, which is huge for what's normally a single shot gun. Hey, Jeremy. So it, we we've, we had the little blobby, we've got the angry blobby on, and we've got Jeremy. <laughs> hey, Jeremy. Right, I'll go doing? in here finally. How's it going, going Jer Jerems? Jerems. See, I have a I have a slight problem with this area. Because I love it so much, I think it's a brilliant idea, but because of how, like, good I've gotten at the game, I don't like taking them because I feel like they're too strong, but I feel like for most players, this isn't, these are pretty balanced, but for me, they feel like they're too powerful, because I don't need the health and the power they give is quite high. Yeah, like, there needs to be a brother Bobby. Um... But at the same time, yeah, it's it's difficult because I, I don't want to say, I don't want to claim that they're overpowered and unbalanced because I honestly don't think they really are. I think the, just the fact that I get the opportunity to be given them so often and I usually have more than enough health to pay for them makes it more of a, um, makes it more of a, like, feeling of overpoweredness. But yeah, I do agree with you. It would be nice to see some Brother Bobby-esque things in there. Just some more options that are a little more cruddy. I feel like the you're, the pool of available things a... in there is, is, is very small, which means your chance of getting Chaotic Shift or All Stats Up or Glass or whatever is pretty darn high. Yeah, it doesn't, they don't even need to necessarily be made weaker. There just needs to be a few more of them. So, they're like the ones that are particularly strong are less common. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'd say. But at the same time, Bunny is doing a fantastic job with everything else, and I don't want to get on him about making more uh, things for those rooms because he's got enough on his plate. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I like that. Jesus. <laughs> I like that, that's fun. Right, let's drop let's drop this one and just stick with a cannon for now. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to the cannon synergy because I think it's fun. Give me another thing to add. Uh, that was most of the stuff in the uh, in the update. Okay. That, that I think is there's this is the more, but it's less like interesting. I feel yeah. for a showcase. There's like the the item that makes tables reflect bullets. There's an item that gives tables a chance to turn into decoys. And there is uh, uh, an item similar to the blasting cap that you got that uh, makes blanks leave spores. Oh, nice. Oopsie. <laughs> Didn't really think about that one. It generally, like, I I'm proud of all of it, but I think that only, like, a handful is really video material. Yeah. The yeah, other stuff's more like the uh the meat <laughs> of of the item roster yeah, yeah yeah just padding things out where it's not not exactly something that's like an, a huge not innovation like, or not even um like pad, just just like fleshing the, the bread of the sandwich yeah it's it's not the it's not the salami or whatever that you're excited about but it's necessary for the mod update yeah it's shit monkey. The mod in, in general. It's a Don't shit monkey. Don't shit monkeys. That's they, look at it. It looks like a piece of shit with corn in it. Do you not agree? I mean, it does have red eyes and teeth, but it does look like a piece of turkey. Yeah, with bits I was of about corn. to say, what the fuck does your what is it? What does your shit look like? Like, exclude the face. 
That looks like a turd with bits of corn in it. It's a shit monkey. Your, your shit has arms and legs. It does. And it dances around and spits, and spits fire. It do. Oh, pick up every couple of rooms. Hell yeah, I'm into that. Just more drops. Ooh, what the hell's this little creature, mushroom fella? Creature, 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 alert. Creature, there is a creature. A preacher? A creature! But well, technically both Wait. Are correct. This is confusing me. Um. Explosions. Okay. Okay, okay, that makes more sense now. I thought it was on enemy death, not on explosion, so I was getting confused. I told you what it was. I know you did, but my brain is small. What the hell? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, it's the guy that tells me what's in chest, isn't it? Yeah, he just gives like a bunch of information about like rooms and stuff. <laughs> I love how insane this synergy is. It's just nonsense bullshit. I just I just so, break everything. <laughs> so this uh, this scroll will uh, it reveals rooms on the map. I see that, yeah. It uh, tells you the vague like contents of what's in a chest. It can reveal secret rooms. Uh, we'll tell you if there's a wall mimic. It reveals and the rat. <laughs> I think that's just something that happened accidentally. So yeah, it's told you that there's a gun in that chest. Oh, has it now? It, it had a speech bubble. Oh, okay. It'll reappear if you leave the room and come back. I just unlocked this, what the hell? Gotta try it out. Adds a shrine room. Ooh, I love that. That's a really good idea. That's a very, you, very you good idea. Pay attention idea. to the little little dude when you go back into the room. Definitely has a gun in it. Nice. And he also will tell you Whoa. when you enter a room if there is a secret room attached. It moves me. Yes, it's the opposite of like a knockback style weapon. I like it. Has a chance and a gate damage while held too. Yeah, because it's absolutely going to blast you into enemy bullets, <laughs> so it has a chance to negate. That's, that's quite nice. The, I think the little scroll guy was saying. Oh yeah, he also tells you what boss it is. Hmm. He's just an informational companion. I like him. He he does also have dialogue for if there is a secret room attached to the room. Yeah, there it the is. The walls in here look suspicious. Yeah. It's dangerous Sus, to go on Amogus, this. Sus. Oh, this gun. Grandfather Glock. This is uh, an interesting one. Yeah, it tells the time. <laughs> I like it. It's a cool one. Right. Let's slap this boss. He'll also, um, like, he also points out mimics. Even, uh, pedestal mimics he'll point out. Just in case you're brain dead. <laughs> what a good little fella. To... Yeah, basically, I wanted to make a companion who was just informational, but I didn't know how to, like, like make him worth it so i tried to give him like as many informational attributes as i could think of yeah i think he covers pretty much every like all basis and i like the fact that this item could definitely like do with not being a companion but i'm glad he is one also yeah, i don't know if you meant to do this on purpose but the way that the text is it it looks like he has a winky face that was not intentional but i love it you see the little mouth, the little yeah, uh, little I, mouth I and a see winky. It. That was completely unintentional. I love that. <laughs> he even has a uh, dialogue if you drop him. Oh. Wrong side. You Rick fella. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> you immediately knew what was going to happen there, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. No, wait. 
Oh, oh, that was a bit glitchy. I like that. Yeah, there is the thing where he's like... Back in the saddle. I just I just find it amusing. He also has some of the... Uh, one of his lines is a Half-Life reference. Oh, is it? Nice. <laughs> like, uh, have I really been that much of a burden? <laughs> when right. you just leave the scientist in the middle of nowhere to die. Love that. Do you love me some Half-Life? Eventually, I will get round to re to uploading the rest of the Half-Life series. Do not worry. Yeah, it has been, si it has been sitting on my hard more, drive uh, for so long. Your promotion leaves you with more uh, free time to record the rest of it. I don't think that's how promotions work, generally. Oh, yeah, sometimes you get a promotion that requires you to do less work that's just more difficult work. True, true. At, at least, know, you... at least for now, that's not going to be the case. But once we hire ah, more people, it should be. Because basically, yeah, basically for um, I won't go into like huge detail just because I probably shouldn't. Um, I expose all the corporate secrets. Oh, it's a cool room. I'm bad at it, but it's a cool room. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't go into detail about it, but there's been a pretty big shakeup at my company, and um. We lost two employees about a month, well, about a few weeks ago, and then we lost one other employee um, that was a higher up in the company very recently, um, and that's all I'll say about that. But anyways, it has me meant that because we're a startup company, there's not very many of us anymore, uh, which means a lot of the it's duties have fallen to people they wouldn't have normally have fallen to. Um, including me. Um, so I've been kind of promoted to one of the other positions, uh, which is kind of well, good for me, really. Um, have you been promoted or kind of promoted? Kind of promoted. So, Oh, he said, he said secret room before. Oh. The guy was pointing out a secret room. Um, the walls in here look suspicious. Yeah. I, oh, ice Burr. Fuck you, Ice Burr. Uh, kind of promoted. Like, I, I have been given a new title and new responsibilities, but because it might only be temporary, because basically we're looking to hire people to replace them, it isn't an official, like, I, don't, I didn't get a pay raise or anything like that with it at the moment. Uh, but, uh, but if I do well at it and we don't hire someone soon slash we don't need to because I do a good job of it, then I might be able to keep the job and get a pay raise or whatever, so. And they, they did say to me as well, like, Obviously, hopefully, if this company keeps going, I won't need it. But they said that um, regardless of whether it's temporary or not, I can put it on my CV and say that I've worked in that in, in this role, which is good for me, regardless. So, But yeah, so for now, it's going to be like, for the next few weeks, probably up until Christmas, it's probably going to be a good bit more work. But then we should hire people to fulfill some of the roles that I was doing before, which means that I can either go back to what I was doing before, really, Really? No. Cheating! Cheater! Lock cheater, cheater, doors fucking, are bullshit. Fucking pumpkin eater. Cheater, cheater. Ass eater. Remember when shops used to be able to be locked? What a fucking scam that yeah, was. I remember, yeah, I remember the good times. The, fucking scam. The, the good times when shops were locked. Back in my day, we had lock, locked shops and we liked it. <laughs> we accepted it. Kids these days won't understand the the feeling of getting a locked shop. They just don't get it. Kids they these just days, we're treating them too nicely. We're treating them too nicely. They, they don't even they have just... calluses on their hands. I gotta say, they, 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 they never experienced the, 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 the disappointment of not having a key and not being able to get into your shop. So they, they, ne they, they never know true pins. They don't even have scars on their anus from cholera. Like, <laughs> kids, they, we're treating them too well. We should make them drink from the community well. <laughs> Straight from the well. Hellfire rounds. That sounds good. It's actually Hellfire's rounds. Oh, it is. All bullets have a chance to make enemies much more volatile. I'm hoping that means they explode. It's, if... it's Hellfire's rounds because Hellfire rounds is an item in uh, What's Burned of the Breach, and I told June, and she was pissed. <laughs> Even though, like, June has been June for so long, I keep I keep calling her Blazy.
I'm impressed. What the fuck just happened? I... I... What? <laughs> what in the fucking donkey's ball sack just happened? You shouldn't... Did you have health? Yes, I had like three hearts, four hearts, I think. That's bizarre. I'm gonna have to check the footage and make sure, but if I was on low health, I would have been more aware of it, is what I'm saying. Like, I would not have been playing like I was if I'd have known I was at low health. So either something got me down to low health without me noticing, or that spike trap killed me in one hit. And I'll, I'll, I'll call my bad on that spike trap hit but it should not have killed me. I'm wondering, like, the, if you were at full health, it's possible it was a bug to do with damage negation. But... But I wasn't holding that weapon. You have two items to do with damage negation. The ringer, which, you were, you're right, it shouldn't have activated if you weren't holding it. And that stopwatch thing. But I, that also wasn't activated. And that didn't prevent damage, that just gave you back the health. Well, it's a, it's a, it's possible that it, like, tracked... I don't know. I'm not gonna call blame on my, anything here. My bet is either on the ringer doing some shenanigans or something to do with the Hellfire's rounds, because that is the last thing I picked up. But it said to make the enemies more volatile. It didn't do anything. And also, killed by a deadly trap. Damn right, a deadly trap. What the fuck? Right, anyways, I'm gonna need to stop the recording here just so I can go killed back and watch it to find out what the fuck happened. Because we need to... cyanide poison. We need... No, no, don't... Don't stop the recording, right? Like, open up in OBS, uh... Well, no, well, no, you can't this, open yeah, the this, it's still going. This one... I'm fucking stupid. You stupid fuck. Yeah, no, that won't work. Shut up! Listen, you're the one who... Walked on the spikes with the map open. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Cl stop this recording and start a new one so we can look at the footage. We but need then, to review the footage, Watson. But if I start a new one for this video, I'll then have to edit them together. We're at like 42 oh. minutes here, so the video's just Fucking over. <laughs> boo-hoo. Fucking boo-hoo. You'll have to open them up in an editing program, drag one MP4 next to the other MP4 and click render. I have to Your click render. Your life is so hard. The, the video is meant to go out in 30 minutes. I don't have time for that. Uh. <laughs> I started recording with very little time because I'm irresponsible. Why, why, do you, why do you do this all last minute? You're the, you're baby, baby, you're the, you're baby, baby. I haven't boy. even recorded Isaac do, uh, today. Want to do a... Uh, boss rush? Yeah, we'll do a boss rush, but I, I'm gonna have to find out what the fuck's going on after this and check the footage. Right. What in the shit? I like the fact that both of us just just sat there in silence for a solid five seconds, like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't know what to say. I just, you clearly didn't. The, my game is fucking cursed. I either break it so bad, I find one of these just ridiculous synergies that no one ever thought of, or this bullshit happens, and I get a bug that just kills me out of nowhere. You know, you're special. You're special like that. You're a special baby boy. Apparently so. Apparently I'm so special that the fucking breach won't load, are they? You are... Fucking hell. You're, you're special with a capital uh, SH. God damn. The confusion is rife within my soul. You watch, I'm going to go back and realise that nothing happened and I was just on low health, but I don't think that's the case. I would have been more aware if I was on actual low health, I think. I I thought you were on, like, three hearts I, as well. I thought that's I was what, on like, at least two or three, yeah. So if, like, I, I either wasn't paying attention as much as you weren't, or you're just... Uh, What's this? That's... Where... <laughs> this is the worst. I'm just going to re-roll this. Webs no longer that affect is... you and a crossbow. Thanks, game. You were literally like just the hunter. Yeah. That was just the worst paradox star ever. That's, that's such a strange... That's such a strange item. 
Like, it's not even slowness immunity, it's literally immunity to one particular kind of slowness. What'd you restart for? Those weapons and items were trash too. I didn't even have time to see them. Ammo synthesizer and glue gun. Oh, glue gun, glue gun good, glue gun, glue gun good. Glue gun good. okay. Not for boss rush it isn't. It's not good for boss rush. I mean, lockdown can absolutely break some bosses. And we got the starter pistol. And we got this, which I doubt affects bosses, but I'm gonna just find out now. I mean, bosses aren't immune to size changes. You this can boss make bosses small. Throw... No, it's not small. Is, is it? No. It's oh, not. It was, it was not small. small. It was not small. I thought it, I thought it was smaller than usual. You're smaller than usual. Why, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. That's only because you're tall as fuck. Listen. I'm born teeny. That's a bit better. Snake oil. I think this is just um, larger bullets, right? Harvested. Oh, it's not it does larger bullets, I think. It does something. Okay, we've the, got something classic, actually worth using now. The, the classic strat, just restart until you get drag on fire. <laughs> yeah. No, if you keep like restarting, you'll get Tech X eventually. Exactly. That's been my strategy with my most recent Isaac episodes. <laughs> yeah, I mean those have been fucking catastrophic. <laughs> they really have. But I it's love been it. I love something watching tragic. You, like, die. I just love reading I the love comments it. and like you get a few people that are like, I felt genuinely bad for you in this episode, and I'm like, uh, pain. <laughs> It is very funny so when you, like, try to dodge an enemy in Isaac as though you're playing Rotato and just running <laughs> through the middle of a swarm. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I feel like that's, like, half of my problem. I mean, because, like, Rotato, um, it's obviously a PC game that's in early access, but on the modding channel in the Discord server, someone released a mobile version with the developer's uh, permission. And so I downloaded it while I was on holiday and was just playing it in bed, like, and I played it on the plane and stuff. So I've been playing so much of it, and I'm just in the mindset of Protator, and that might genuinely be why I'm just running through things. It's so funny. So you're telling me we could have gotten a hot, like, bedroom in Greece Protator video, and you didn't, <laughs> didn't do that? Well, well, we're only like, we're only like 400 subs away from seeing my beautiful face. Are you ready for that? Oh god, that's gonna be like, terrifying. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I, like, I'm gonna say you probably have like he, a specific image of what I look like, and it's gonna be so no, I don't. wrong. I don't, I don't actually like. Okay, so this may surprise you, but uh, even though me and, and Turtle are friends, I still haven't actually seen his face because I don't really care all that much, and so I haven't pressed. I'm pretty sure he'd show me if I pressed him on it, but I just haven't pressed him on it because I don't really care. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> no, no offense. Yeah, yeah. It just, that's, that's, it just that's, that's, pretty, really that's pretty much exactly it. I've had no reason to show you, but if you had asked or wanted to, I wouldn't be that bothered about showing you. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a uh, a gun that's intended to just be look as glitchy as possible. What? Well, by the way, the 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 mod that lets you know what gun each mod is from. Why does it sometimes just not work? What gun each mod is from? What, what mod? Like like this gun. It says this gun is, is from Bleaker Item Pack. This one just doesn't tell you. Uh, probably some stupid bullshit. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't make that mod. Ask the person who did. Come on. But anyhow, um, yeah. So like, but I've I've said I... from from basically at like three hundred subs, I've always said that I would show my face at ten k, and I have been saying it for long enough. Oh. I have to stick to it. All I know, right, all he's told me about his appearance <laughs> is once, when is I was once drunk. he got really drunk. Oh, uh, really, and he really drunk. He sent me a picture of the top of his head. Oh, my hair looked terrible. His, he took the mick out of me. And he looks like the villain from the fifth <laughs> element. I was, like, really drunk, so my hair was, like, all types of fucked up. 
and I sent my picture on the top of my head because I was drunk. And he was like, you look like this dude. And I was like, oh no, I did. At that, at that moment in time, I really did. The thing is, he didn't explain to me that he was like, that the oh, reason no, I didn't. he sent me a picture, a picture was because he thought like, oh, my hair's fucked up. He didn't explain that line of thought. He just sent me a picture of the top of his head and was like, hey, look at this. I was, and I was very confused. I was wrecked that night. I was, I was very drunk. And also, once he uh, he miss he misspoke, and he told me he had like scraggly facial hair a couple inches long. <laughs> yeah, I did, didn't I? Because <laughs> I I have a really really shitty little beard and mustache, because my girlfriend likes it, so why not? Um, I don't really care. And she does. Well, she does. She, it's not that she cares. Like she wouldn't like be angry at me after shaved it. She just wouldn't. She'd rather me have it, so I I just have it. I don't really care. Um, but yeah. Uh, and I I sent an evidence that it's a few inches long. It's not. It's like centimeters. It's too short. The fuck. What? Oh, like. Ah. Oh, oh, I see. That's kind of cool. I like that. I see. It's like it's like um um whiz shot from Isaac, but a bit more horrific. Doesn't matter on this guy. No, it does not. Although yeah, this gun has a, a hard time hitting enemies. When it does, it hits pretty hard. Moment. For a, a second after he told me that, I I thought like I was envisioning some some like scraggly. Honestly, grey and museum curator, like beard and moustache, <laughs> like you know, you know the look, like a museum curator. That, yeah, that yeah. Look. <laughs> and that, coupled with the fifth element here, was uh, it's a lovely <laughs> image. <laughs> uh, I do wonder how hair on his face, but not his head. I do wonder how surprised people are going to be at the at how I look. I also hope that I managed to get. Uh, so I'm, I'm a bit weird in the fact that I go back to my parents' house, like, or where, where the city that they live in, to get my hair cut. I've only ever had my hair cut in my city, like, twice, and it was terrible both times. So I always wait until I go visit my parents until I get my hair cut, which means that I can only really get it cut, like, once every two months. Um, so I... have hair cut, like, three years. Yeah, but you just have long hair. I keep my hair reasonably short. So I'm hoping that I manage to get a haircut before I hit 10k. Because right now it's a bit scraggly. Oh, for fuck's sake, just get a pair of scissors. Like, I don't really give a shit if I, if I do look a bit scraggly. Like, I mean, people aren't Shave expecting it perfection. Off. Shave it all off, you'll break Tato Cosplay. <laughs> I'm okay, thanks. You're not okay. But yeah, it's, it's something that I've committed to now, and I'm like, eh. I still need to, like, buy a new, um... I still need to buy a new uh, webcam, because my webcam is real bad right now, so I need to buy a new one to do it. Oh, for fuck's sake, I keep forgetting about this. This is really bad yeah. on their uh, console as well, because it means I have no aim assist. Console, you mean controller. You know what I mean. I know what you mean, but I'm gonna, you know, point out when you say something stupid. Because it's funny. <laughs> to me. But. Because I'm a dickhead. Ah, oh, vile, disgusting. Back I just, I just ate you. an absolutely cracking wrap, so I, I'll do what I want. I, I don't give a shit what you wrapped your cracker in. Put the f fucking microphone away. You've lost I, um, speak privilege. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I obviously went to Greece recently, so I've been into Greek food, so I made my own satsuki, which has, is like cucumber and has, garlic has, dip. It's amazing. Say, you mean, it, has the rap been in you since last week? Yes. But then I, I decided to kind of recreate something similar. I bought a bunch of spice mixes while I was in Greece, and one of them was like a chicken spice mix, and oh my god, it's amazing. It's That's so good. A spice, a spice mix. Well, normally I'd make my own, but like, the Greeks know what they're doing, so... No, I, 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 I mean like, imagine, imagine not getting like, one and just keeping it in the cupboard forever. <laughs> To be fair, I have done that a few times, so... <laughs> but these ones, these dad, ones are special. My dad, he got a, a, like a series of hot sauces. 
like a for the thing of di various different hot sauces yeah, I've had from a few around of those the world. Before. I've had a few of those. Before. Uh, he got it for Christmas, like four years ago, and he hasn't touched it. <laughs> yeah, I've I've got a few of those. One thing that's that's always a problem is. I'll tell people that I like hot food and hot sauces, and you, most, most people know that about me. So people will gift me hot sauces, but they'll always gift me those, where it's like a set of four, like, and they're not hot or really that tasty at all, and I have much, much better ones. So it's always kind of like a, uh, thanks. It's like, the thought is nice, but these, these ain't good. You know, it tastes good, always be spicy, but it's from Jamaica. Jamaican food is good. I'm just, I mean, like, a lot of, I feel like a lot of those hot sauces sell based on where they're from yes, rather than they do. what they You're taste right. like. You're right, they do. We had a, a Kate, Kate, do you know the person, what, like, the person that moved in with us for a while, he, he's gone home now, but. He was from, like, the Caribbean, and um, he brought over some hot sauces when he, uh, his parents came for graduation for me and um, my friend Billy, and oh my god, that's so nice, it's so hot. Like, I, I don't know what, like, generally constitutes different cultural cuisine in different parts of the world. Like, I, I don't know what people eat in the Caribbean, I don't know what people eat in Jamaica, I don't, I barely know what people, I barely know what people eat in New Zealand. I, I don't know what you eat in the UK, like fried water. <laughs> like, that's the thing. The UK doesn't really have much of its own cuisine. Usually, it does. Usually, it does, it, it, don't make it anymore. It has a decent amount, but like, yeah, it, it, now it doesn't really have much of its own of its own food culture. It does still have a bit, but it's mainly just UKified versions of other food, like. G like Greek food has like a British version that isn't authentic, but same with Italian. British Italian food is really really nice. Like like authentic Italian is still nice. Um, like obviously re Greek really really good. But Greek British Italian is really good too. A, Greek food has a, a British version which is characterized by being worse. <laughs> that that is true. That is true. I I like British Greek food, but after having been there, it don't compare. It don't come uh, But yeah, like, the UK has a pretty, like, a lot of, like, culinary history, just like any yeah. other country. It's just that people don't do it anymore because they've there found is, other stuff. There is a few, more. like, classic UK foods that are, still, that are still fairly popular that I love. One of which being Scotch eggs, which are probably one of my favourite British things that ever invented. They're, they're just the best. I don't know if you've ever had one, like, but they're awesome. It's a, like, marinade and egg and scotch. <laughs> no. It's, um, it... Goes down it's, smooth. It's like a, a hard or soft-boiled egg, normally a hard-boiled egg, uh, that's been, um... Scotch. No. That's been wrapped with sausage meat and then breaded. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't sound bad, actually. And they are fucking delicious. I was just imagining, like, a, like a guy in a bar... With like a shot glass, he dunks an egg. <laughs> he, he dunks an egg into it, and then swallows the egg whole like a snake. <laughs> and that's and that's the UK. That's, that, that's, that's all. That's all you need to know about the UK. This last fight's going of course, slow. There's, uh, there's other uh, UK cuisine like stargazy pie. But uh, stargazy pie. Yeah, I've heard of that one. Oh, uh, it, it's this thing that people were talking about a while ago because it's just the most bizarre fucking thing ever it's like a fish pie but oh, uh, I already think I think heads, I yeah, yeah yeah I already know I already they, know they stick fish they heads stick, through yep. the crust yeah uh, like I didn't know it by name but I, I know that I, I have seen that images of that a few times yeah fish heads just looking up yeah that's, that's a British cuisine and no like, wonder no one obviously, eats it anymore <laughs> Fish and chips are just classic UK food that are that's also very very good. Um, and then another one that I really like is uh, sausage rolls and like our selection of like things covered in uh, pastry are just pretty good. The yeah. UK does have some good food. Scotch eggs are still my top tier, my top pick. 
bestie food in the UK, from what I understand, was just taken from India. Yeah, pretty much. Chicken tikka masala. Top tier UK food. UK asterisk. <laughs> Anyways, I think we should leave off here. Yeah, it's exactly an hour. I so. Bye. have to go take a nap. <laughs> yeah, I have to go find out what the fuck happened to my health. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.